up guys? So today's video is a tutorial for autumn or fall, whatever you want to call. Some of you asked me to do like a transitional look going from summer to fall. I'm just gonna do my, you know, general type of autumn look that I like wearing myself. Um, sorry for my voice, it's a bit throaty. I'm just, I just recovered from being sick, so it's still a bit off. So what I like is um, fresh looking skin, nothing dewy anymore, nothing glowy like in summer. We like more natural, fresh face. Uh, for autumn and colder seasons, at least I like satin or more matte skin. Bold eyebrows, um, nothing much, just soft brown hues on the eyes. And like very neutral blushes and then I, of course a deeper berry lip. I like in general those very darker lipsticks, but for those of you who don't generally wear them, fall is a great way to start. Uh, so for the base I'm gonna use my Chanel Vital Mirror Aqua Foundation. Just apply it with my fingers. Um, it has a very nice natural finish. So I love using this foundation any, you know, throughout any season. It just evens out my skin. Also, if you have noticed, I haven't been filming too much lately. Because, first of all, I was sick. And second of all, my university has taken over me completely. It's, it takes all my time, you know, I have... So many readings, so many homeworks to do, it's just crazy, so... Oh my hair is on my face. So I'm gonna try to find some time on weekends or whenever I can to film for you guys. Because I don't want to um, neglect my YouTube channel completely. Um, so okay, make sure to blend it very well so that there's no foundation stuck in the hairline. I hate that. Um, okay, for concealer, for under the eyes, I'm gonna use my By Terry Touche Expert concealer just to counteract the darkness. It's a salmon colored concealer. Now for any spots that I have, I've had a couple here and there on my chin. Um, I'm gonna cover them up with my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in Ivory. I'm gonna list all the products in the info bar. I'm running out of this. It's a well-loved concealer. Moving on to my brows, I'm just gonna brush them in place. And as usually use my Art Deco eyebrow pencil in number 6. I'm gonna use my Lumen Tinted Eyebrow Gel. Okay, the brows are done. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown um, Longwear Cream Eyeshadow in the color Cement. And this is such a beautiful grayish color. It's a mix between gray and beige. And it is matte, which I love for, you know, for autumn. I don't really like anything too shimmery. So I'm gonna apply it <clears throat> with my finger all over the lid. Uh, 
I love this eyeshadow. It stays put, you know, you <laughs> throughout the day. Once it sets, you cannot move it. So you can leave it like that. Has a nice wash of color. But we're gonna add some more eyeshadow. Okay. So you can see we have a nice wash of color. I'm gonna use my Burberry eyeshadow in the color Rosewood number 9, which is a gorgeous taupey color. And with a brush like that, I'm just gonna take some color and put it in the crease. That. To deepen up the look a little bit. And put some on the outer V, like that. I'm gonna take another brush like that and put some color on the lower lash line. So just like that. Same on the other eye. So the eyes should look something like that. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Chanel curler. I'm gonna apply my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Now to set my makeup I'm gonna use my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. I just got it. Uh, it's in the color 52 Vanilla. But I think it's one shade too dark for me. Anyways, I'm using my big body shop brush. And I'm just gonna powder through the center of my face to take the shine away. Now you can probably guess what kind of blush I'm gonna be using. This is my NARS Doucet blush. And I'm just gonna use it as a contour and as a blush. So just like that. And you want to concentrate on the backs of your cheeks, at least I want for this look. To color be mostly intense here on the back of the cheeks, on the cheekbones and then feather it out. I'm using it on the temples also. You can see the blush added some definition to my face. And 
of the powder brush you can blend it so that it doesn't look as harsh and now on to the lips um, the lipstick I'm gonna be using is this one by Laura Mercier is in the color Audrey and it's just such a gorgeous autumnal color it's like berry plum or pink based red but I don't know it's hard to describe it's like a berry color and it has no shimmer in it and I also love that it is it is not a full-on pigmented lipstick it is quite sheer actually it's not gonna erase your lips I think it's a perfect daytime color for the autumn On the camera it looks too bright, I can see, but it is, it's more muted, definitely. It's not a really bright color, it's just dark raspberry color. So here is the makeup done. Oh, I'm gonna show you some alternatives for the lips um, that I have here that are great for autumn. It's definitely my Yves Saint Laurent Sheer Candy Lipstick in number 5 which is, you know, a nice sheer also berry color That's a weird swatch there um, Another one is by Clinique Chubby Stick in Chunky Cherry A great color also That one here And this is the Cora's Libator in Wild Rose, the cheapest alternative. And it is, they're all very, very similar. So it's this one here. These are great sheer colors. You know, if you're afraid of wearing darker shades, these are great. I love this lipstick on, so here is the makeup. All done. The earthy tone, neutral eyes, also very neutral brown based blush and bare lips. I really like this look. So I hope you like the tutorial guys. Definitely try the look yourself. Um, don't be afraid to wear brighter colors on the lips and keep the rest of the makeup, the eyes, the cheeks very neutral, earthy looking. Um, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll talk to you soon.